Now let me show you how to set up an underground farm. So I'll, I grabbed, I'm going to grab a variety of things and go underground and show you how to do it underground. See, I grabbed some potatoes. I want to use a variety of mods. Uh, let's see, some blueberry bushes, um, the Cucina Vegana tomato seeds. Throw this stuff up there for now. Um, carrot seeds. Uh, I'll grab some peppers. Let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe some, some rice just for variety. Now, the first thing, you're going to need water. And to carry water, you need buckets so you put the an upside down v a v for the wrought iron ingots oh, sorry and you get get a couple of buckets mm. here i can combine these okay so we need a water source, but I want two of them because I'll show you something with that, which you probably already know. So let's grab some water in the bucket. I left click to put the water in the bucket. And let's just go down and I'll show you. There was the brown mushrooms from before. Maybe we'll look at that when we leave. So in the corner, if you set diagonally, if you place the water, uh, right click. See it flowing here? Now right click. See it stopped flowing. This is now water source. I can now fill the buckets off of these and place the water. If you skip one, the middle becomes the, a water source. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to put that up there at the top. Oops. So we can fix that. All right, let's put the water down here. Uh -huh. Let's put the water down here. Then we put the dirt on top of the water. Then hoe the dirt. Then uh, let's try... Um, peppercorns. I believe it's, I think it's the Farming Plus mod that I have. Now repeat with other stuff. You can do all kinds of de clever designs for this. I'm just I set this up just to show you for a variety of things how to grow them underground. Notice I'm using those lights I made in the other video. The um, super glow glass, the more block super glow glass. Hold this and let's put uh, 
use a different mod. Let's do the carrot seeds from the Cucina Vegana mod. Now, I would also like to show you bushes underground. So, I believe bushes can go on regular dirt without grass. Maybe. So we'll put the dirt down next to the lights and see if these bushes will grow. I may need to get a crystal shovel and put dirt with grass down here. Okay, uh, what else do we want to try out here? with our water source. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that again. So down here, skip one. You might want to do um, six just so you can alternate instead of doing a length of five. Put the dirt there. Use the hoe to um, irrigate the thing. Let's put some potatoes down, see how those grow. And we'll do one more. We'll use the Cucina Vegana mod things. Sorry about that whistling sound. Hope that doesn't irritate you at all. That will go off in just a minute. Sorry about that again. And we'll put down the tomato seeds from the Cucina Vegana mod. So we've got farming potato. We've got bushes, uh, fruitless bushes, which they're, they were blueberry. Uh, farming potato, Cucina Vegana carrot, and farming pepper. And I'll pause the video and we'll come back and see if these have grown. Okay, we waited a little while, and uh, I came back down here. Now, if you look, the peppers are done. If I pick them up, I can put them in my inventory to get the peppercorns. And then plant them. Notice the Cucina Vegana does not seem to have done anything. The farming potato is grown. Plant those. The Cucina Vegana is not grown. One of the bushes has blueberries. Right, cl uh, Left click to get the blueberries. If I pick it up with a shovel and replace, you have a chance of getting two of them when you pick it up with the shovel. Oh well, only got one. But uh, whenever I get blueberries, I'll try to pick up the bushes and see if they'll give me more. Um, now, the trick to growing the Cucina Vegana is actually mulch. So if, uh, let's grab these cotton seeds and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to get the Cucina Vegana to where it will grow. 
So I happen to like, um, I like to have the farming uh, redo mod. And I like the uh, Cucina Vegana. Okay. So if I put down mulch, see the brown? Any item belonging to the seed group. So I'll click all. Oh, potato belongs to the seed group. That's interesting. The potatoes that we farmed. I'll use that to make the mulch. We'll make 20 mulch. So now uh, we will place left click with the mulch. Notice it went to the green color. So you'll need the mulch to start off the Cucina Vegana. All right, and we will come back and look at the progress on the Cucina Vegana in a few minutes. Let me pause this. Okay, so we had to mulch the Cucina Vegana and you see that they've grown the tomato and the carrots. The update added these things. Now, if I pick up the carrot here at six, I get two seeds and three carrots. So um, I don't know if it's fully ripe, but at least you get seeds and carrots. Yep, three and two, and nine and seven. So we got enough seeds to plant this. And if we have a carrot, it gives look like looks like one and a half bread. I click I for inventory. And now for the tomatoes. We got three and two, it looked like. And the tomatoes give at least one and a half because that's what I went up. So you see, in order to get the Cucina Vegana to grow, you have to use the mulch. And while we're on here, if you watch the video with the brown mushrooms, I had put the brown mushrooms on plain dirt with low light. And you can see here that the area has filled up with the mushrooms. So now you know that the mushrooms grow brown. The brown mushrooms are the ones you can eat safely. And they give a little bit. Now, I think I have mulch here. In order to grow those um, things that we just planted, and I made the mulch by putting seeds in each of the crafting slots. So nine seeds give you a mulch. Uh, anything in the seed category. So I take the mulch and tap it with the mulch and it'll start growing. If you have a lot of seeds from something, you can do that. Uh, the other thing of slight interest, if you pick these up with a shovel, you have a slight chance of getting two instead of one. So maybe if you do that repeat, so I got two there. So now I have four of them. And actually, we'll do that one more time. And we got two out of that. So now we have the full for the bushes. All right. I think this is a good place to stop this video. Thank you for watching. I hope these are helping you.